<laughs> All right. So if they have common denominators, the point of getting common denominators is so that you write them over that. So we're going to get x squared minus 9 in the denominator. Because they have the same denominator, we can write it. We'll deal with the fact that the difference of squares in a second. What you can do then is once you have a common denominator, you can write the whole numerator over 1. So we're going to get 2x plus 4, and then we have to add 7x minus 10. When you add 7x minus 10, it doesn't change them. You literally just add the 7x and the t minus 10. So what we're going to... Did you just say where is this? <laughs> Dude, it's been like 27 minutes that I've tried to get this to show up and page, and page 6 said. Uh, I can't even. 2x plus 7x is 9x. We're going to collect like terms. <laughs> and then uh, 4 plus negative 10 is minus 6. What can I do to the denominator? Keep on going on. I'm going to turn it off. Let's okay. See. What's the common denominator? What does the denominator turn into? X plus 3, X, X, plus three, X minus 3. Shh. So, your steps for adding and subtracting are common denominators. Then you write the whole numerator over the denominator. Then you collect like terms. And then at the very end, you see if you can do some any type of GCF or factoring to the top. Can I do anything? Yes. You can take out a 3. When you take a 3 out, you're left with 3x minus 2 over x plus 3x minus 3. Now, can anything cancel off? No. And before you even ask that question, what should you have done? NPVs. So we have x plus 3 can't equal 0, and we have x minus 3 can't equal 0. This one's going to be x can't equal negative 3, and this is going to be x can't equal positive 3. Now, could anything cancel off the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator? No, this 3 is by itself, so it can only cancel off if there's like a 3 or a 6 or a 9 or a 12 or a 15 by itself in the denominator. The x plus 3 is going nowhere unless there's an x plus 3 in the numerator. x minus 3 is going nowhere unless there's an x minus 3 in the, in the numerator. And 3x minus 2 is going nowhere unless there's a 3x minus 2 in the denominator. So can anything go away? No. So I follow behind with x can't equal plus or minus 3. And then I box it. Okay. Most people are really good with the additions. It's the hardest part seeing common denominator, which these ones already have. But the subtraction, you have to watch yourself because you have to subtract everything behind the subtraction sign, not just the first term. So, the well, first thing we have to do when we're doing addition and subtraction is get a common denominator. That's our first step. This one already has one, correct? So if it already has one, we can write the A and the B in the denominator just all over one A and B. A and B are multiplied, so I can write them in brackets. Then I have to write the whole numerator together, correct? But you have to watch yourself. So we have 10a plus 5. But then I'm subtracting the 3a and the 2. So I'm going to get minus 3a. And when I subtract negative 2, I actually get plus 2. So you have to watch yourself because people won't remember to, to uh, distribute the minus sign through. And the answer to you for getting that will be there. So the next step is to collect like terms. So we get 10a minus 3a is 7a, and then we get plus 5 plus 2 is plus 7 over ab. So first step is common denominator, second step is write over one denominator, third step is collect like terms, fourth step is see if you can take anything out of the top, the numerator. Can you? What? 7. So then we're left with a plus 1. And at the bottom, we have A and B. Before we even see if there's anything we can cancel off, what do we have to do? State restrictions. And B. So, we just have variables by themselves. So, we'll have A can't equal 0 and B can't equal 0, and then we're done those. 
Okay, can I cancel anything off? I have a 7 by itself, an A plus B, an A, and a B. Anything I can cancel off that's the same? Nope. So I say A can't equal 0, or A, B, comma, can't equal 0. You try these two, this one and this one. Try them out. We have the same denominator, we're going to write it over that. So we get 2x plus 3. And the 2x plus 3 will be in a bracket because the 2x is sewn to the 3 because there's a plus sign. Then we have 4x plus 7 in the top. I mean, there's no like terms to, to actually combine, but they're attached to each other, correct? Yes. So I have to state non-permissible yes. values. 2x plus 3 can't equal 0. <laughs> 2x can't equal negative 3. It is, really, I think, for that. Yes, it is. Okay, so x can't equal negative 3 halves. Paying attention? All right. Is there anything I can cancel off? Nope. 4x plus 7 is in the top. It's attached. I can't take anything out of it. 2x plus 3 is in the bottom. Do they match? Do the 2 of them match? No. Can I cancel the 2 and the 4? No, because remember I told you that even though these are multiplied, it's 4x is sewn to the 7. So there's nothing you can do. So you'll see it. You can leave it in brackets and you can be done. But on the test, they'll just rewrite it as without brackets. 4x plus 7 over 2x plus 3. And then they'll say x can't equal negative 3 over 2. That's as low as it can go. Because the 4x is attached to the 7. So unless there's a 4x plus 7 in the bottom, it's not going away. Okay. This one has a 5x plus 9 in the denominator. Now I have to remember to distribute the minus sign through. So I'm going to get 2 minus x minus and minus 2, so plus 2. So I'm going to get negative x plus 4 over 5x plus 9. Now the negative x is attached to the 4 with a plus sign, and the 5x is attached to the 9 with a plus sign. So is there anything I can cancel off? No, that's as good as it gets. You can't cross this x off with this x, no matter how much you want to, it's wrong. So we have 5x plus 9 can't equal 0. 5x can't equal negative 9. x can't equal negative 9 over 5. Alright. So what happens when you don't have a common denominator? Your first step is going to be that you have to get a common denominator. So, let's look through. Oh my gosh, I don't know what he did to my board yesterday, but like my arrow is even off. Okay. Hey, let's look at the left denominator. What does the left denominator have? An x and an x plus 1. The right denominator has just an x plus 1. What does it need so that the denominators are the same? An x. Can I just randomly multiply a bottom by x? I can't just randomly multiply just the bottom by x, but what am I going to have to do? Get the top by x too. Okay. So, we do have a common denominator now. So we can write them all over it, but we're going to have to distribute that numerator first. We never distribute the denominators. So if you distribute the x into the denominator, you're going to get x squared plus x. You're just going to have to take it back out again, because you're going to, the whole goal of this is to simplify. So we never distribute our denominators, but we will distribute our numerator. We're going to get an equal sign running down the left. So we're going to get x minus 5 over x, x plus 1, plus x squared minus 4x, x squared minus 4x, over x, x plus 1. So when adding and subtracting, we'll distribute the numerators, but we do not do that to the denominators. 
So once we've done this, we actually are in the exact same steps as last question, correct? We're in the exact same spot as where the last question started. We've common denominators, so we can write it all over 1. x, x plus 1. And the top we get x minus 15 plus x squared minus 4x, which changes nothing. Because if I distribute a plus sign through, it doesn't do anything. And I'm going to get x squared. x minus 4x is negative 3x. And then minus 15 over x, x plus 1. Is there anything else I can do? You could factor. It multiplies to give me negative 15 and adds to give me negative 3. x minus 5, x plus 2. If something cancelled, could I cancel it off right now? You have to say MPDs first, then cancel. Every single time. So before you go to cancel, you have to slap your hand and be like, can I cancel? Have I saved MPDs? Oh, <laughs> Look at how large that eraser is. I didn't intend on erasing. Whatever. <laughs> so it can't factor. It has to stay there. <laughs> Everyone was giving me the same look, so I was suspicious something was wrong. So I'll just quick. So, <laughs> if it, thanks. Um, so we can't factor it, and people are like, "Do we go to quadratic formula?" Quadratic formula solves, so that's not helpful. I don't know what is going on between you guys, but you need not. Okay, that's even scary. So we can't factor it. If we can't factor it, it just goes in brackets. That means all three are connected. So the only way x squared minus 3x minus 15 is going away is if there's an x squared minus 3x minus 15 in the denominator. Is there? No. So that's saying the x in the bottom can't cancel unless there's an x by itself or an x squared in a bracket by itself or an x cubed or an x4. Is there one? No. What about the x plus 1? There needs to be an x plus 1 in the numerator. Is there? No. So I can't actually make this any more simple. But I do have to say MBVs. x can't equal 0. And x plus 1 can't equal 0, so x can't equal negative 1. Now, you can leave the bracket in the numerator, but in a multiple choice, they'll take the bracket off the numerator, and they'll just say this. You might not even put the bracket on the x, but it's the same thing. And we say x can't equal 0 and negative 1. For the one to the right, what are we going to have to do first to make a common denominator? Factor the right-hand side. So factor it. Oh my God. So we're going to get a 6x oh over x God. minus 5. Guys, stop talking. Minus 240. And then this factors to x minus 5. x plus 3. Now, what do they share in common? They share an x minus 5 in common. So the only way I ha only thing I have to do to make a common denominator is what? Yeah. Multiply this left side by x plus 3. Now, like I said, don't distribute the denominators. But you do distribute the numerators to get it into the same position we had before. So x minus 5, x plus 3 stays the same. And then here I'm going to get 6x squared plus 18x. And then I'm going to get x minus 5, x plus 3. And then minus 240. This side didn't change. So now I'm in the exact same steps as I was for um, the ones where I gave you common denominators right off the bat. So once we have a common denominator, we can write them all over one denominator. x minus 5, x plus 3. And then we're going to get 6x squared plus 18x minus 240. What can I do to the numerator? See if you can factor it, correct? 
it's really big right now. So when it's really big, the first thing you should always check for is, can I take out a GCF? And you can take a 6 out of all of them. So you'd get 6 bracket x squared plus 3x minus 40. And then that's easier to factor. So the 6 will just stay in front. And then it'll be what multiplies to me negative 40 and adds to give me 3. x plus 8, x minus 5. So in the top, I'm going to still have that 6 in front, and then x plus 8, x minus 5. Now I actually can see that the x minus 5s are going to cancel, but am I allowed to do that right now? No, what do I have to do first? NPVs. I don't know what it is going on. So we'll have x minus 5 can't equal 0, x can't equal 5, x plus 3 can't equal 0, x can't equal negative 3. So these ones can cancel off, and we're left with 6, x plus 8 over x plus 3, x can't equal 5 comma negative 3. This one, is there anything that I can do to possibly get a common denominator? Yeah, well, because the left one I can do what? Take out a 4. So you always want to do the GCF first. So we can go 2 over 4, x plus 3, plus 7 over x plus 3. Now I just need to multiply this one by 4. You're going to try that one out. And then this one, I have an x plus 2 and an x minus 5. x plus 2 is attached, x minus 5 is attached. Is there any way I can make x plus 2 be x minus 5 and x minus 5 be x plus 2? No, they're totally different. You can't make them, if I have an x minus 5 in the numerator and an x plus 2 in the denominator, they can't cancel off, right? There's no way I can make them be the same. So what are you going to actually multiply by then? How can you make this common denominator when one of the denominators is x plus 2 and one is x minus 5? Multiply this side by x minus 5 and multiply this side by x plus 2. So I'm going to multiply by x minus 5 and x minus 5. Do I distribute them in the denominator? No. Do I distribute them in the numerator? Yes. So those are the two.